What the heck? Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to this run. I don't have any rabbit pelts, but I do start with the ringworm, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we do have a campfire up there. This is weird and wholly unexpected, but it's fine. What do we get? Bloodhound at Adder. Adder's interesting. Okay. So I could go here. This could be interesting, but I'm going to go to the sacrifice. I like having an adder, but it's not actually that good. So I'm going to sacrifice the adder into the bullfrog. I was considering putting it into the possum, but what's the point of that? The or possum. Well, I mean, could have put it into the possum too. I was thinking of putting it into the stoat just because I like stoats better than bullfrogs. I feel like the stoat needs a special ability. I don't know what the special ability should be. I just feel like it needs one. Now let's just get the stoat down. Get rolling. There's a bee. It fights the tree. Grab this. I'm just going to have the stoat do its thing. Huh. They've got a cuckoo. Weird. I mean, it's fine. Just wasn't expecting that to show up on the enemy side of things. It's one of those new cards that I've unlocked. Well, there's no egg there. If the cuckoo was more dangerous, I think I'd care. But it's not, so I don't. I bullfrog ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, take me away. And we get a card. This is a weird run. Let's grab the bullfrog. Normally I'd be leery of doing it, but this way I can potentially sack something else into it and then make an actually really good bullfrog. If I could get Mantis God, that'd be great. Okay, ringworm. And there they go. Perfect. Now, to some degree, leaving them alive is not a bad way of getting rid of certain units. But honestly, I'm fine with this. Okay, they've got more bees. It's a weird, weird day, honestly. I'm just going to leave the bullfrog there. It'll just do its thing. I just got to get the damage out and get out ahead of it. Okay, second squirrel. Now the squirrel. Sack both of these, get the wolf out. Wolf will do enough damage to kill both bees so we don't have to worry about it. Bullfrog blocks the other bee. And then there's this other bullfrog. Don't care too much. I'll surrender, he says. Sure, I'll take it. I Pelts are super expensive anyway, so me using them is, is kind of low on the list. So what do we want to go go with? Insect or lizard? Or insect or reptile? Insect has a chance of getting us a mantis or a mantis god. Reptile gets us nothing we care about. We get ant queen. I'm not a big fan of ant queen, to be honest. Um. See, I'm not really using too many insects. Because we got rid of our ringworm. And I'm probably going to get rid of the ant queen. So let's go with that. I'll make something spiky. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's take a look. So we've got a sacrifice shrine. I think we want to go up this way. Yeah, that'll be the plan. I, I'm i noticing there's like a lot of bees. Like we've been fighting nothing but bees so far and it's actually getting really confusing. Like every fight has been the same fight. And I don't get it. That's a lot of bees. Uh, Possum's just a 1-1, one, one, yeah? Yeah, not that great. Oh, there's the ant queen. I guess I'm just going to put the possum there. It'll start just chewing through that stump. Okay, keep grabbing these. There's the stoat. Stoat can kill the bullfrog. Grab that. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice both of these and just slap the wolf down. 
Wolf can take a hit from the bee, kill the other bee. Oh right, we don't... Flying units don't actually do damage. Alright, it's fine, this will get me some teeth. I wish there were other things I could spend teeth on. Like minor upgrades or an extra glyph. I think that would be really interesting. But alas, go for a game of chance, pick a boulder. This one. Get a golden pelt. Honestly, kind of low on my list. The golden pelts are nice, obviously, if you can get them working, but if you can't, they're really not great. Alright, give something bonus damage. Ooh. I'm gonna boost this bullfrog. I wanna make them both viable. I've noticed I go, usually go all in on like one unit sometimes, and that's not always the best. So let's sack the Ant Queen onto the, um, shoot, I don't know, the Stoat? The Stoat's never going to be useful, and I'm probably just going to get rid of him, but this way we don't have it, we don't have two kind of albatrosses. I know the Ant Queen can be good, but I'm not big on him. Okay, it's just moving birds. And they're probably all going to be kingfishers now I'm thinking about it. He might have some some non-kingfishers, but it's usually the latter. Okay, so let's just get the squirrel down and the 3-2 bullfrog. Okay, he's got that. Let's just give him a squirrel. Okay, grab this. So the immediate, nope. The immediate issue is we want to get rid of these, hit them with the wolf. Because the goal is not to hit those buckets. The buckets are a trap. Uh, actually, no, we win. So we don't have to worry about anything else. Because we hit him for four and he just goes down. It is really weird that we're just cheesing out most of the boss fights instead of actually fighting them. It makes sense, but it's always kind of one of those where it makes me feel tacky more than interesting. <sighs> so we have the Amalgam, who's a 3-3 and counts as every type, which is not actually a half-bad creature to get my hands on. There's the Uriuli, who is very expensive and hard to, hard to summon. Or we got Long Elk, which is... Awkward. I'm gonna grab the Amalgam, because this way we can at least grab a Wolf Totem and potentially stitch some other useful things onto it, maybe. Alright. I wish um, the Amalgam actually had a feature tied, uh, a sigil tied to it so I could apply it to something else. I don't know who I'd apply it to, though. Okay, so... These are tough. So I could get another Amalgam, maybe look into stitching them together, but I'm going to go for a Roboros. This early on, a Roboros has the potential to get really strong. Or, we're about to sack it onto something, because I don't think I have a choice here. I, I mean, I do have a choice. I could get rid of the bullfrog. Here's the thing, though. How stupid of an idea is this? My big issue with a Roboros is it requires a cat to be paired with it. Otherwise, you just can't summon it anymore. This way, I can get the bullfrog back and potentially make that bullfrog a lot tougher. I'm sure that was the wrong move, move to make. Okay, this is actually kind of a gnarly, gnarly crew. Um, let's put it here. We want Infinifrog to go down. Okay, grab another one of these. 
Uh, sack it. We're going to put Death Frog there. And then we're going to put the Possum down. This way we do a clean sweep of their entire crew. And I'll just draw this. I think we'll just do a ton of damage. Perfect. Okay, what do we get? Cockroach. All right. It's... Wish I had gotten that before the Ouroboros, but whatever. So I can put the cockroach on something. I'm going to put it on the possum. Because we're going to have a lot of bones here, including the possum itself. So we can potentially resummon this possum whenever we want. Hey, and we get the mycologist. Okay, so we got stink deer. Stink deer are a problem. Not a huge one, but they are a problem. Okay. Squirrel down. Squirrel down here. Infinifrog. Do enough damage. Don't have enough for anything else, but that's okay. Okay. Give me another squirrel. Put this down. Put death frog here. And then Possum... Possum's not going to do enough damage, so we'll just put the Deathless Possum there. Okay, we get the Wolf. Sack these two. To get the Wolf down. And then we have the Deathless Possum, which I'm going to just put there. Perfect. Yeah, and if I can make that Possum just a little bit tougher... Uh, you know, do a little bit more damage, then it actually becomes kind of a force to be reckoned with on its own. Alright, Cuckoo, Grizzly, or Raven Egg? I like the Raven Egg. Right, let's get stitching. Alright, and now we have the Infinite Death Frog. Which, I mean, that's pretty pretty Australian there. It's a 4-4-2. Like, it's a tough sucker. Would have been nice to give it, like, split shot or something. Ooh. But I'll take what I can get. So we got a pair of vultures. Here's the thing. Infinite Death Frog. And I don't have quite enough bones. Okay. I have a lot of options here. But really, we're just going to let the frog go. Oh, because it's... I know why. Okay, sack the squirrel, get the raven egg down. Get the possum down for a little bit of damage. Sack both of them to put the amalgam down. And then the possum down again. That way the bullfrog gets the hit. Squirrel Wrangler. Huh. I don't know what that achievement does. Oh well. Alright. Sparrow, Raven, or a Moose Buck. Pronghorn or a second Raven Egg. Let's go for the second Raven Egg. I don't know what i do, like, what the end result would be if I stitch them together, but it could be interesting. Um... I do have a pair of birds. And I only have one wolf. So let's go with spike birds for the time being. If we're lucky, I can get spike reptiles, maybe? Make the infinite death frog just that much spookier. Nope, these are boring. We'll grab the wolf, but this way the raven eggs are actually a lot better. Especially if I can stitch them together. Which we might get the capability of doing so. I have no idea what happens if you have a double growth on a creature. I've never tried. Okay, so they got moving reptiles. And it's the trapper. I mean... I think it's fine. The main thing is... 
we have a couple of immortal creatures here. And that goes a very long way. Uh, just doing gobs of damage to my foes. Because we can actually get the, the death possum down. Except for we're going to sack it so I can get the stoat down. Which gets me an ant, which lets me get the possum down. So I can then sack that to get the ant down here where it's just going to die. But that's fine because we can put the possum down again. And then we're going to have a whole bunch of corpses on our hands. But it's fine. I'm actually feeling reasonably good about this. Okay, let's just grab another one of these. We get the... Ah, uh, we get the wolf. I'm gonna leave that, I think. Okay, kills them both. We'll lose the amalgam, but I, it's hard for me to immediately care. There's the death frog. And then the possum. Thank you, Infinite Possum. Boy, if I could give Infinite Possum the uh, the rat. Oh gosh, the Rat Lord perk. I'd be a happy camper. Okay, so we don't have anything particularly good here. However, we only have to hit him once. I guess let's just get Infinite Possum out, and then sack it for Death Frog. See, this is the fun build that I'm builds that I'm looking for in this game. I often feel like I can't pull this off just because the game doesn't want to give it to me. Maybe part of it is me trying to force it, but who knows? All right. So I have what five wolf pelts. That's a lot. I'm gonna leave the skink. The skink isn't terribly concerning. Now let's grab a squirrel, because it's probably gonna take me a little bit to get these guys down. Really, I'm not even trying to get anybody down. I'm just trying to get the kill. Um, put the infinite possum. Put the squirrel. Get the wolf down. Gets me enough so I can get the infinite possum down again. I don't have too much else. Truly. Share the damage. Wolf cub, raven, eh. Let's just get that down. There we go. Didn't quite do enough damage. Elder wriggling tail. <laughs> <laughs> You know, grand scheme of things, that's not actually what I was expecting to encounter, but hey, ho, here we are. Uh, it's wolf. Eh, we're fine. We got this. We do have an underwater bloodhound, which is just confusing. Uh, let's grab another squirrel. Because we want to get... I don't know, probably the wild bull. There we go, that should be enough damage and then some. There we go, perfect. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this run, but it feels like it has more legs than most. And what do we get? Child 13, another amalgam. Ah, oh, these are tough. Because Child 13 kind of goes a long way at getting me a number of creatures down. I'd like to get an amalgam, but I think I'm going to go with this. Because, like, the 6-6 amalgam would be great if we could find the mycologist, but our chances of finding two more mycologists are low. It's possible. But it's unlikely. So what are we taking a look at? What do we have? Totem battle, items, don't have much for items, don't have much for anything. Um, let's just go here, see what we get. Bones. 
That or blood. Health? Nope. It's fine. I don't actually really want anything from that guy. Sometimes I do. Most of the time I don't. Alright, so what she got? Blocker. I'll grab it. But I think I'm mostly going to have the raven eggs that do spike damage. Okay, regular fight. Yeah, I just... Nothing really useful here. And this is wolves with skink tails. I'll probably get rid of this stoat. What are we looking at? Ugh. The squirrel here. Put the stoat here. We have a worker ant, but it's not much. I think I might lose this one. This is a lot of coyotes. Let me think about how I want to do this one. I want to put it here. I don't want to kill the rabbit. The rabbit is somewhat crucial. Uh, the problem is if I take any more damage, I'm in trouble. I'm going to put the squirrel down, and we're going to get the worker ant. Kill that guy. Okay. Oh, and the coyote hits us anyway. Yeah, that was a waste. It's mainly just the sheer volume. You know, I, I only can generally play like a handful of cards per round, and there he was sending constant coyotes at me. Rat King or another Ant Queen. I don't really like any of these. Let's grab the Mantis. We need some AoEs, maybe. And we've got Mycologist. Though there's a very real possibility we're going to lose. Okay, Child 13 goes there. Oh, no, this is the Bone one. This is Sacrifice. Let's yeah, get rid of the Stoat. I'm sure there are reasons why I'd want that, but not right now. Okay, so we got a pair of blocker eggs. Not my favorite situation, to be honest. Okay, let's just get the infinite possum down. Um, okay, so we get the bullfrog. So we put down the infinite possum, plop down the bullfrog, it'll do some damage. I can't do anything else at the moment. We'll outbalance his... Oh, no, we just win because we've done the one damage before. Oh, I'm a lucky duck. These fights get a little dicey once you get up to this point. I think I want the corpse maggots. Because corpse maggots in and of itself are pretty good. And we do have another mycologist, but I don't think we have anything that we can work with it. It's fine. So now we get both raven eggs. Okay, and it does not get double growth. At least not there. Maybe it will later. Ah, come on, RNG, don't screw me. Well, I mean, that's an option. We get a porcupine, we get the wolf. Oh, wolf, we get the mantis. I'm just going to get the raven egg down here. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Yeah, it's just a 2-2. Two -two. That is decidedly boring. I 
I mean, we'll scale out the damage a little bit. Wolf dies. We get the this. We get child 13. Which I'm going to put down here. Which I then sacrifice to get the mantis. Except for I don't think I want the mantis here. I'm just going to get the wolf down. Take three damage. I don't lose yet. We get death possum. Death possum has to block that. Luckily, it kind of funds itself. Or, well, it doesn't block it. Oh, and his wolf kills my wolf. And Boy, I'm not betting on my my survival on this one. At least we can kill that. Sacrifice child 13. Make it mad. But I take three damage and I think I just lose. Alright, let's try that again. I I was hoping I would have to use the tooth. I don't want to just sack it there. I realize we didn't quite finish it. Yeah, this is something I run into with this game though. Like, sometimes I get the the stuff I'm looking for, and sometimes I just don't. Because this Raven Egg is not nearly as good as I was hoping it would be. Sack the squirrel, get the Raven Egg down. We do actually have enough for the possum. I'm going to just put the death possum there. Okay. We also have bones. So I'm going to grab the corpse maggots. We're going to play the bones. I'm going to get the possum down. I'm going to get the possum down here. Sacrifice it, get the mantis. Then the possum. We just want to do some damage here. And get rid of these guys as best as possible. With, while taking as little as possible. There's the wolf cub. Don't need to worry about that too much. We get child 13. Get that down. Do a smidge of damage. Get the possum. Okay, now we got Death Bullfrog. This is working out a little better. Um, okay, let's sacrifice the Corpse Maggots for Child 13. Sacrifice Child 13 once. To get the Death Bullfrog, it'll kill both of those. And then we're just going to put this guy here. The Sparrow is not a problem. There we go. It's really interesting how little you have to change. <laughs> Freaking Stump killed Child 13. How many bones do I have? Probably enough. So we're going to sacrifice both of these. Get both of them back. Put the wolf down. Put the possum down. Get the death bullfrog. It'll kill both of them. And get the possum down again. Alright, vengeance is mine. Unnecessary? Maybe. Worth it? Yes. We'll go for some items on the next round. Health, abilities, or same breed. Health. We do not have a whole lot of the same breed. Possum, Mantis, and Wolf. No. Trial has failed. It's fine. K kind of? Go Black Goat. And let's actually go Bones. Infinite Possum goes a long way. I was really hoping for more campfires. We got surprisingly few. Alright. And in the interest of everything, I could do the Mantis, but I'm going to give it to the Infinipossum. Making it so it can actually do some retaliatory damage um, when I summon it is kind of big. Uh, 
I'd like to boost the Mantis, but that's a one and done creature. The Possum effectively pays for itself. Oh, this is good signs. Okay, so they've got Spike Wolf, which actually is a bit of a problem. I'm just going to do the damage. Okay, draw another. We get the Raven Egg. I might use it. I'm probably going to wait. Okay, Bullfrog kills itself. But we kill the wolf. We get more wolves. That's fine. Um, I really need Infinite Possum. Shoot, because I can do nothing here. Okay. Do the damage. Now I'm gonna just kill the wolf cub. I have a grizzly. I might have to redo this battle. There's the infinite possum. Gives me a lot. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna let it kill. Okay, there's the Grizzly. Grizzly's a jerk, but not a huge one. We have the Adder. We have some other things. Give me a Squirrel. Put the Death Bullfrog down again. Another Wolf it is. And I don't actually want to win here. I just want to delete most of his forces. Which might or might not be infinite, I'm noticing. Grab another one of these. We get child 13, which is, um, okay, we get child 13 down, but then we use that to spawn the raven egg. Oh, shoot. Child 13 is not going to hit the ground, is it? Well, here's, here's the thing. They're all going to die. So he's going to clear his board. Okay, let's grab the squirrels. So, big thing is Death Bullfrog needs to be down. And then otherwise, I think we just wait. I think we're good. Oh, that's a multi-hit... Bulldog. That's a problem. Or is it? Oh, I have to draw a card. Eh, just give me a squirrel. Okay, we get Death Possum down. It moves there. It kind of blocks. And then there's the Adder. There is not much to do on this one. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let this happen. Because Death, Death Bullfrog has this. Kind of on its own, frankly. Alright. Oh, draw a card. Rude. Grab this. Oh, the Mantis. Mantis would be interesting if I could play it. Um, I don't know. Death Possum goes there. We sacrifice it to get the Rat King down. That'll just get us a bunch of bones. Then we get it down again. Thank you, Infinite Death Possum. You're the squirrel I've been looking for this entire run. And what do we get? Probably nothing great. We do get another amalgam. 
I'm not happy about them, but they're not terrible. The other ones are kind of okay. Uh, maybe. So totem items, which I think I'm fine on. Let's go sacrifice. Okay. Do we want to sacrifice child 13 onto something, mantis onto something, probably mantis. It's not very good in its current state. Putting it onto one of the amalgams seems like probably my best bet. I really wish we'd gotten one more mycologist for these guys. Like, if there was a mycologist on this stage, that'd be kind of nice. Well, let's see how this goes. Win or lose, this was a satisfying run. Getting the death bullfrog, like, normally I'm a, not a big fan of him, but today, it was a good day. Okay, and he's got growth insects, which is kind of interesting. Please give me, I mean, it's some options. Oh gosh, that's kind of a spooky, scary mantis god, but I have options. So let's get the smoke down. Let's get child 13 down. Let's get the other squirrel down, and then we're gonna sack both to put the amalgam here. Because the amalgam has spikes. And so the Mantis God comes down and hits the Amalgam and dies. Let's grab one of these. We get Death Bullfrog. Death Bullfrog. We'll kill that. It's fine. Not enough. I hate this guy. Okay, luckily we still have Death Bullfrog, so it doesn't matter as much. Because I do enough to put him over, which clears his board kind of. And gives me a stump. And then, those guys aren't supposed to be alive, so I'm actually just kind of confused. But it's fine. Kills him. We get the Mantis God, but doesn't matter. Uh, hmm. I guess I'm just gonna let him take the corpse maggots because what else am I gonna do? They're lit they literally are just corpse maggots. They're not good. Rude. Okay. Um We got the possum, so it doesn't matter too much. Cause we can do Possum here. Bullfrog here. Possum again. Do we sacrifice it for a goat? No, I think this is fine. Oh, he actually has a hand? That's a new one. Okay, and we get the raven egg. Means let's sacrifice the possum. Get the raven egg down, get the possum down, do some damage. Puts him over. Means it's moon time. I'm really curious about... His hand came out with a, with a hand of cards. I've never seen that. Oh, time to fight the moon. Oh, good. It'll get rid of the gold nugget for me. Okay, so squirrel one, squirrel two. Get these split attack, retaliation amalgam. Here's the question, does death touch kill the moon? No, it does not. Guess it doesn't need to. Oh well, oh wait, no, 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 no. We just want to get infinite possum down. Yeah, we're good. That was a good run actually. It took a lot of off-camera runs for me to get to this point, which is a little unfortunate, but I'm happy about it all the same. Oh, I haven't actually killed him. That's funny. That's a hell of a lot of teeth. It's also kind of dark. It's fine. 
That was the run I've been looking for. Oh, hello. Entry number two. So I woke up and damn near lost my mind. I tried to recreate that bug with the angler over and over and, was n and nothing weird was happening. Then I realized I was testing on a different disc. So I popped in the same disc as last night and holy shit, Les Leshy went 3D. What does that mean? I barely even know. Maybe I am crazy. The entire game is different. Leshy took over and it's, it's 3D. I don't know anyone who would listen to me about this. Mole Man? Mole Man will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Also, in an empty space would be struck Mole Man, question mark, move to that space and receive the strike instead. We also have a new starter deck. Rat King, Wolves, and uh, the Warren, which is actually kind of interesting. Challenge unlock. Tip scales. Start all battles with one damage on your side of the scales. That's really risky. I like these unlocks. I said this in a video that is never going to go up because it was bad. I don't like the fact that a lot of the content is unlocked based on clearing the challenge levels. Mainly because that's very exclusionary to like newer players and worse players. And like I said, I've I've been playing this game all day and this is the first run that I felt like was worthy of putting up on YouTube. Uh, because all the other ones were kind of garbage. I realized like you can't win every run, but I wish that every run was as interesting as this one was. Is I think kind of my, my core complaint. And has been my core complaint this entire time. That a lot of my runs are just kind of scuffed from the start. And I stick with them because I'm commentating them and I don't, you know, I have to get videos up for YouTube. But it's kind of one of those that it, it gets a little boring if you're just losing all the time. And I realize hard game is hard, needs to remain hard. But it's one of those where I'm like, I don't know. I, I wish the unlocks and especially the starter, de starter decks weren't tied to challenge levels. And maybe they're not. At least maybe for the starter decks. I don't know. It doesn't say any, any criteria for it. So we will see. But for now at least, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.